welcome back to Contrary Sims. I wanted to do a follow up to my last video on the recent Sims Mobile update now that I've had a bit of a chance to collect my thoughts on the new features. Now I don't know when the full worldwide re release will be but it will be really soon. I have read that it will be by April within the next quarter. And there is a bit of a scavenger hunt going on on Twitter at the moment searching for puzzle pieces and I think within this puzzle there may be the release date reveal. I'm not 100% on that, but it's a little bit of an odd thing for them to be doing if there isn't going to be some kind of reveal at the end of it. So this last update has been really huge. As you saw in the last video, there's been a whole lot of new features added and a lot of things have been improved on as well. So I'm going to go through all of those changes that I think have made the biggest difference um, and really improved on some issues that were in previous updates. So a big one has been changes to how social work and hobby events work. So the star system has been removed, which means that you no longer have to perform actions to reach a certain star level in order to level up what rewards you get. You just get a set reward for completing the event. And by performing the actions, you can reduce the time that it takes to complete the event. And if you do, say, a one hour event, you can finish it within about five minutes if you do want to do that grinding. Otherwise, you can just set it and forget it, and that's completely fine too. You'll still get the same rewards. I have been able to level up and earn rewards so much faster this way. It's a really great change. And it also means that your limited energy system goes a lot further. You're not feeling like you're constantly running into this wall preventing you from progressing in the game. The other big change to the events is that they've expanded on the stories that they introduced in the previous update. So previously there were just a couple of social stories, I think they were just seeing what we thought. Now every event has a story that you can do. Work events, the social events, the hobby events, they all have stories. Um, and this is quite interesting, it's good. It makes it feel like there's more progression to what you're doing and you're not just grinding away and endlessly for little reward and not really being sure why you're doing it. It does remove a little bit of the freedom that I feel is kind of inherent to the Sims series where it's just a kind of sandbox feeling, you can do what you want, you create your own stories. In this they've kind of scripted it for you. So that takes away a little bit of the freedom but I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. They want to gamify it a little bit more, make it more of like game progression than The Sims generally is. They've also added all of these new quest options and it means that you can earn so many more rewards. Look at all the Sim cash I can get. Previously, I could only get three Sim cash per day for completing all of the daily tasks. Now I've gotten over a hundred in the week that I've been playing since the update. So that is awesome. And the quests repopulate really quickly. So it does mean you're not running out of ideas of things to do as quickly as you were before. So this new clothing crafting thing, to be honest, I remain unconvinced about this. Um, I was hoping it would be giving us some brand new clothing items, and maybe it will and I just haven't found them yet, but so far I haven't made anything that wasn't already in my wardrobe. The difference with them is, is that it seems to add some kind of boost. Um, it's really poorly explained, I think. I'm not sure what these are and what they're for. You can see when I'm putting these items on lyric here. She's getting these solar system animations flying around her and I'm not really sure what that's doing except making her look a little bit weird. Um, you also can only wear one at a time so as I go in here I'm switching her to a different item that I've made and now she has this flower crown on which is kind of cute I suppose. Um, so this gives her a creativity boost, at least I know what that's doing, but she doesn't actually do anything that needs a creativity boost, so, yeah. So I'm just not as into these kind of stat boost items, 
Other players might be, they might like this kind of tactical element. I prefer just being able to choose an item because I like the item. I have the same issue with the furniture. Like, why do I need to choose this couch or this bed because they get more energy from it? I just want to choose the one I like. Let me do what I want. But again, that may be something that appeals to other players, so I'm not going to fault it too much. Some of the best changes have been to the social aspects of the game. So the social aspects have been really promising, but kind of lacking in a lot of ways so far. Um, they have added these stickers and they're a bit weird to me. They're a bit of an odd kind of a popularity contest because you end up just choosing sims at random to give away your allotted stickers to within the time limit for daily tasks and it kind of defeats the purpose if you're just randomly giving them away. So sorry to any players out there whose sims I've given nerdy stickers or scary stickers, I'm just trying to get rid of them. <laughs> so the sims that are wandering around town now are mostly other players sims as well as just the pre-made townies. This was something I was confused about last time I was playing, so all of these sims with blue plum bobs above their heads are sims that have been made by other players. These ones are sims that I have interacted with previously at parties and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm not sure what would happen if you hadn't met anyone in game yet and you were just starting, um, whether they would just bring in complete randoms that you've never met before. This is great, you can now add other players using a player ID or a sim code. Amazing, I wish Sims Freeplay had this. So you can either find players in game, at parties, um, you can connect with people if they're connected to Facebook, or you can actually search for people if you have their sim code. Amazing, so much better. You can also visit other players' homes to see what they've been doing to decorate. You can't actually interact with their sims when you're there. Your sim doesn't come with you. You're just there to look and not touch. There is still no way to send any kind of private message in game except for during party chat, which is understandable because it would be a huge task to moderate that. And when you are at a party, the party chat usually seems to be pretty inactive. Nobody actually says anything. It's just full of announcements of people arriving. And I think it could be because of a current language barrier. Um, with the soft launch regions because the first region was Brazil so there's a lot of Portuguese speakers and then there's us Australians and I think there are a couple of other countries as well but half the time people can't understand each other. That may change when more people start playing after the worldwide launch. So overall there's been some really promising changes. It does seem like they've pushed out this massive update to see what kind of reception it gets from the soft launch audience before the worldwide release. Um, and it does seem as though they've been genuinely listening to people's complaints about energy, completing events, earning currency, connecting with other players, and they've really made a lot of improvements in those respects. Also, with all the new changes to the social aspects and the story progression, I think there's actually a lot of potential here for a Let's Play series. Let me know if that's something that you might be interested in as the launch worldwide happens. Um, I have finished leveling up my first generation, which is Contrarian Admiral, so the series would probably follow their three kids after I retire those two. Thanks so much for watching, let me know if you're excited about the upcoming launch, or maybe you've been playing the soft launch already, let me know what you think about it. Um, and I will speak to you really soon with some more Sims Freeplay and Sims Mobile content. Bye!